All right, what's up, you guys? Today, my boy Alex lended me the keys to his Alfa Romeo, and I'm sorry if I butcher this, Giulia. Pronounce it Giulia. Um, got the turbo right over here, which is opposite of the Subarus, which is like down over here, I think. Took it for a spin earlier, and it feels really, really good. It's got super stiff suspension. I don't know all the specs to it, and I'm sorry, but I do know it's got the drilled and slotted rotors, uh, front and rear. I don't know the sizes. Uh, it's got the dual piston calipers in the front, single piston in the rear. Like, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but the paint just kind of pops out at you some a certain way, and uh, it looks awesome. Hey! hey What's up? Car, oh, you like my car? Yeah. <laughs> This is my car, I don't know what they're You're talking black. about. And I think it's the lack of buttons that makes it look super dope in here. Like, because there's not so much on here, it just looks super classy, you know? And then same as like hopping in the back too. Everything just looks so neat, so clean. It's a push start, so, I mean, you know, we got our key right here. The key looks really cool too, if it'll focus. There we go. This is the key too, it looks really classy. Got this on here. Okay, so right there, that D is for drive, which is your sport mode, and then N is for normal, and then that A is for auto something. It cuts the power to two of your cylinders and actually disables the turbocharger, so you're running on two cylinders naturally aspirated. This right now, like I said, is a four banger uh, turbo, 260 horsepower, 280 horsepower, I think I said. Um, he's hoping to go big, you know, bigger turbo and a bigger setup sooner. Um, he's gonna be doing 360, so I might do a review on it again later, but here's some exhaust clips. You gotta get in the back, buddy. <laughs> I'm chilling. I'm big chilling. <laughs> so you gotta get in the back. We're trying to get him to get in the back seat so I can go back. ahead and uh, no, you drive. Don't want it's not, it's not working. Seat, I've been ripping ass. I know, man. Ever since we got IHOP, I've been shooting for IHOP. Oh, yeah, it definitely takes up really quick. Yo, go. I just ripped ass. <laughs> hey, zoom in. But he drives just like me. Jesus Christ. Hey! This thing feels really, really tight. Buddy. Yeah, I know. It, um, I don't have the race suspension on it. Oh, yeah. I love this. Did you get to daily this? Yeah. All right. I'm kind of honest. Oops. I'm kind of just honestly trying to feel the car because... You know, every time you get a new car, they always feel different. And this one feels really expensively cool. <laughs> and, I don't know, it's my first time being in an expensive car, and it's really fun. You can get a used one of these, like, high mileage 2017 for, oh, I like... I heard it! I heard the turbo! Oh! Nice! That was so cool! Oh, Dude. shit. Dude, Alex, I don't know if you felt that. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Hard ass brakes. Sorry, there's just been a constant smile on my face this whole time. By the way, just so everyone's aware, this is my boy Alex, my boy Carlos in the back, and my other boy Ramon. He likes children. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, you guys. It was a joke. But, nah, we're just chilling with the homies today. And I figure, why not go ahead and review his car? It's $60,000. Check it, Alfa Romeo. Let's get a ticket. It's, like, buttery smooth. And then, like, when you go from gear to gear, typically... Oh, in sport mode, it's a little, um, takes you back sometimes. I feel like, typically, with Shiftronics, it's, like, you're, like, oh, like, it's late, it's, like, delayed... This is like instant response every single time yeah. I've done it, man. This transmission, well, oh, sorry, I can't speak English. This transmission's out of the Quadrifoglio model, that's why. That's why. Because they made the Quadrifoglio before they made these base models. Left or right? Mm, go right. Go right? Yeah. Right. There's a couple of cars right, coming right. now. Right sounds right. Right sounds right. right. Bye. Oh, rotor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, the cops like to hang out on these ditches up here, so I'd say just be a little careful. I got you. I mean, See, not saying they're gonna be there, but on the off chance, you know. And this is why we had to have Alex in the front. <laughs> Just had to point that out real quick. This is why Alex had to be in the front. Yeah, Tom's over here will pull you over, like for going like two over. They don't care. Yeah, I feel, and I'm black, so <laughs> <laughs> that, that doesn't really help necessarily. And you got two Mexicans in the back of the car. So. Oh yeah, you're running with minorities hey. today, Alex. Hey. So are we keeping the part that y'all said I like kids? Yep. Massachusetts Mar 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 Maritime Academy. I said that. Learn to drive boats. 
I said that. Let me drive the boat. No. Oh, I, I heard the school. Hey, you guys want some cone pizza? What the fuck? Some pizza and a cone? Carlos, you hungry? I've seen it all start. Go on. I've seen it all. He's like dead back there. When we switch over drivers, we should go hit up that ice cream joint. I'm totally down. No, Alex gonna take up four spots, dude. That's how you're the real king. You gotta take up four spots. Just say fuck the peasants. Hey, nice home to fit. And let's see if we can make it. Nah. Nope. Nope. Damn. Steering's a little tight. It does. On smaller turns, it's a little tight. Alright. So, alright. Four Four words. Review the car. So, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was having way too much fun. Um, like I said, it feels super duper stiff, super fucking snappy. Like anytime I took a turn, I was in it. Anytime I went to go shift, I was in that gear. And for a daily, I was pretty comfortable. Like I hit a really decent sized bump and didn't necessarily feel it. It just shocked the shit out of me. Let's go get some ice cream now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Yo, the back show. I was like dying because I wanted to get the but I didn't want to fuck up the this ice cream is about to smack, bro. But this is how you have to. Oh, wait, I'll demonstrate why. Ready? Yeah, go ahead. So. What's the left me pump after? So if you do it normally, <laughs> yep. Yeah, like, it just keeps stopping it. It will, yeah. Okay. So if you flip it upside so it's down, just to look like a dumbass <laughs> and just flip it upside down. Because you can get it all the way in. Now. Yep. It makes complete sense. Exactly. Euro owners. <laughs> Italians. It sounds pristine. This car has a speed limiter, so say I can set it. You can only go 45. You can like you can obviously chain it around. Huh. Like I have it set to 45. So if someone's in the car that I don't know, I can put this on, and then on my dash, it'll tell you that it's set to 45 miles an hour. So if I try to drive over 45, the car just won't let you, even if you're all the way down to the floor. Oh, that is pretty fucking cool. I'm not gonna lie. It is dope. <laughs> Again, just wanted to do a quick overview of his car. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's a high class daily. I think 60K is totally worth it if you're rich and ballin'. I'm not, so. Shout out to the boys for coming with me today. I really appreciate it. And shout out to Alex for letting me review his car. I'll leave his Instagram in a link down below, so you guys should go check him out. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and share it, comment, all that fun shit. If you didn't, then unsubscribe because I don't need your negative energy. Peace out, guys.